I'm fighting mother flipping k Land Bao, the god of summoners war. Today, we are testing out the free dark 5-star Sukuna on various different builds and the first one is going to be with 295 crit damage. <laughs> Not only that, because he multi-hit and he lose damage as he attack, which is not cool. I'm going to give him artifact that give him more crit damage as enemy have less HP so that he's going to do even more damage. To make this test even crazier, I'll give him every single boost that he can get. Look at his harem right here. We got Miriam to make the attack buff stronger. We got Mirene to make his damage bigger. We have defense break and branding from Helia. And then we're gonna have the Dark Rune Blacksmith to make defense break even stronger. Before we go in, let me know in the comment section down below how hard he's gonna hit. Because this is gonna be crazy. Cleave. Times one. Let's go. Yo, that was. That was some crazy damage right there with this crazy setup. No, this is this setup is insane, okay? But that was some crazy setup. One thing that I really wish was in the game right now is the sound effect of all these characters or any voice line. That would be so crazy to turn on the game to hear Sukuna or Gojo. That'd be great, but there's none. Kind of sad though, a little bit, kind of sad. Now let's compare to a normal setup. Attack buff defense break from Galleon. The most typical setup you are going to get. Here we go, cleave. Okay, now that's a little bit... <laughs> that makes a bit more sense. That was crazy setup for this unit. So 15k times 6, not too bad. Pretty decent damage right there. With the ultimate setup, you're doing 42k. That is mind-blowing. But what if I change to a more normal artifact? So skill to quit damage and attack up effect so that we don't have the crazy damage bonus when enemy get low HP. Here's the normal setup. Let's go. Wait, does the damage decrease at all? How come it looks the same? <laughs> it looks the same though. Now we go back to the ultimate setup. Oh, it stay at 39k ish. But with the crit damage as enemy HP goes down, we went up to like 43k, which is really, really good. What about a skill one? The skill one also does more damage if you have higher attack power than the enemy defense. So I should have higher attack power, right? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Wait. That did the same, almost the same damage as the skill 2. <laughs> Yo, that skill 1 was crazy. What the heck? What about a normal setup? 84k. So all that extra setup make us hit from 84k to 240k. That is crazy. Not bad though. That's some, that's some great damage right there. Next up, let's try to hit the Light Beast because you do way more damage as a Dark Unit in this particular content. I hope I don't miss a crit. We're going in with Cleave, baby. Let's go. <laughs> that was... Was that a million damage? That was easily a million damage. But what about Jara though? Jara also almost did a million damage. That is crazy. Sukuna skill one. 800,000 damage. But Jara's on a speed vio set, by the way. Jara on max damage is going to blow your mind. <laughs> Jara hits so hard. It's crazy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just a casual a million damage from this boy. But realistically, this will not be the build that you're going to go and PvP with. Let's try a vio build. We are going to use the free rune that he was given with, but upgrade it a little bit by grinding them and maybe give him a bit more speed. After grinding the other runes, I also changed the two runes being slot 1 and slot 3 to give him a bit more speed and crit rate because I want to use other leader skill with him. I'm going to change the slot 2 to give him max crit because I want to use him with a speed leader, for example. Let's start off with a very typical Nana Byeongchon defense. We're going to go in with a speedy strip. You can use Dark Siri. You can use Gemini, Chi Wu. And then we're going to go in with a defense break attack by pushback. You can use this or the Water Vampire, which also does the same thing. And then this guy's going to do the damage. If he violent proc, this skill with only two turn cooldown is really, really strong with violent build. 
Here we go. We're going to strip and slow them down. And then we're going to push back their attack bar. But there's a small problem is that he can't really ignore all the funny passive. But with multi-hit, I think it's going to do great damage against the enemy Byung-Chan. Because he lose the damage reduction as the HP go down. Okay, that damage was kind of horrendous. Not gonna lie. <laughs> no attack buff. And we get thrown back into reality. Alright, we're gonna push this guy off the beast. We couldn't do that. Can I stun? Okay, there's a problem with this unit. Is that when you lose too much HP, you don't revert back to the, the original HP. Which is really lame, I would say. I wish that he would go back to whatever it was before a bit easier. But as you can see, the damage without attack buff is kind of mid-ish. And the self-healing mechanic is very bad if you take way too much damage. So, reality check right here. I think to properly use this guy, you're definitely going to need something like attack buff defense break. And something to protect him like a Triana, for example. Boy, these defense are crazy. I'm not sure if I can survive this shit. <laughs> can I sleep that? Okay, that's amazing. We're gonna attack buff. Oh, but he outspeed me though. He's so fast. What can I do? Oh, okay. Attack buff is not stripped, which is great. So, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can I one-shot that? Wow, even with attack buff, it is very hard to one-shot this unit because he is just way too tanky and that is quite a problem. And we have multi-hit and we do six attack, but we could not one-shot this guy. Mmm. Reality check for this guy right here is very hard to use in high rank, huh? Because these defenses are run very, very well. Let's try him in the bruiser comp so that they are proper tank and protection for him. But in all honesty, it's going to be very hard to actually use him in high rank RTA because of how crazy these defenses are built and how hard it is to actually use him. Okay. Okay, we've got silence. Wait, I can't actually do anything. I can't even do damage. Can I kill? Okay, that's not really a killing moment right there, but bonk. Okay, no revenge. No revenge. Where's my revenge? I need my revenge. His skill 1 does very good damage though. Arguably, very similar damage to the skill 2, but the skill 2 can defense break, which is amazing. Let's try to defense break you over here. And then we bonk. So it's like a pseudo support slash damage dealer. I think full damage build might be very tempting. But not exactly the wisest build for sure. Because he does very, very good damage already. So maybe he can go with a bruiser-ish build. But then you need more attack power to actually do the extra damage and the multi-hit. So I'm not really sure at the moment what is the ultimate best build for this guy. I think a more optimal build and team choice would be the one where you can use his leader skill to give him free crit rate. So that you can build him with higher damage, higher HP, and higher speed in general. And then you pair him with, let's say, a Riley for attack buff and a Nana to provide the revive so that you don't die instantly. And let's see how he can work in this team composition right here. Okay, enemy's gonna go in. We're on wheel. We're gonna defense break them. So with the defense break set up right here, I believe he can kill the Tian Lang pretty much instantly. Unless we lose the attack buff. We did not lose the attack buff. Thank you very much. And we have immunity so that we don't get provoked or defense break and die turn one. As you can see, we get attacked too often and we could not recover back the HP. But, wow, even that and I could not kill this Tian Lang. My guilty zone are just way too good, guys. I should not test these against my G3 Pro Guild Super OP defense because I'm just dying out here. <laughs> Let's finish that and get one stack on the Nana. Maybe Despair Stun. No Despair Stun, but we can heal a little bit right here. Can you please not hit Sukuna, please? Like, unbelievable. Can I? God. God, I hate this unit so bad. Don't touch me. <laughs> him being a dark unit make him very vulnerable to enemy AI targeting him when he has low HP as well. That is another problem. I feel like I'm just exposing this guy's weakness <laughs> in every single battle. All the problem that he has. One buff that I think he should have is make the... Oh, Wow, that is a, that's a problem. So one more thing he should have is to have the recover HP a bit easier to get, maybe 50% instead of 30%, so that he doesn't just get absolutely popped by the enemy and not get to heal at all whatsoever. Okay, 
uh, we're going to try and defense break and kill the Theomars here. We could not even kill the Theomars with that. Damn, the damage without without the rage build is pretty garbage, huh? <laughs> I I really think the damage without the rage build is not something that I I desire. Okay, it is something very undesirable. Without defense break, without the the the, the crazy setup. Is, is not looking so hot right now. Can can Theomas hit somebody else, please? Like, why does he only hit Sukuna? That just doesn't make any sense. But that build and that damage, not a fan. But then the ultimate challenge is, can I win an RTA match with this guy? For RTA, I want him to be fast. So it's on Vile Will, speed, crit rate, and attack with a very beautiful slot 1 and slot 5 to give him more attack and crit damage. I wonder if he's going to be alive. Let's find out. I'm fighting mother flipping K Lan Bao, the god of summoners, or I'm the king of curses, baby. <laughs> oh, but I hope he realized I'm having fun. Please. Come on. Come on, K Lan Bao. Does he know I'm having fun? Please. Please. Oh my god, he's going so serious. <laughs> he's going so Oh, he's going serious. Oh shit. I don't know what to do. Um Hmm. Guys, I think I think Sukuna is gonna die. What do you guys think? Holy mother of damage. Alright, we can only love sack kill and bow, not trap him. I'm sorry. If we luck sack, we win. If we don't luck sack, we are dead. <laughs> Here we go, guys. K Lan Bao against Sean B with Sean B using Sukuna. Come on, Gianna. Resist. Holy Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm I'm I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Ah. Never mind, just kidding. Can I do damage? Not too bad. Uh... <laughs> Guys, I think I am what you might call dead. Yeah? If Helena get to move, we have a shot though. If Helena get to move. Oh, we don't have any damage. We could have won, I think. Unless I despair stun them all. We gotta despair. I mean... We really had a chance here, guys. I really think we had a chance. Okay? <laughs> he is just way better. <laughs> he just built different. What can I say? Ouch. Alright, can I kill the Han, maybe? Oh my god, that is crazy. Wait, hold up. Can I kill Veronica? That's some good damage. Can I stun that? <laughs> Oh, he's not even healing. He's making fun of me now. <laughs> oh my god. If we land the stun, I strongly believe we could have won. Okay? I strongly believe. But it's mother flipping K Lan Bao. What can I say? But everybody deserves a second chance, even Sukuna. So we are going round two. I have skill to accuracy plus 20%, by the way. And because this guy defense break, I think he's gonna pair okay with my debuff team because we can spread his potential defense break. So if I land defense break, he's the one in trouble. All right, boys, here we go. I do think we have a decent chance, okay? A decent chance at winning. Here we go, here we go. Let's go for... Oh, he moved first. That is amazing. I like it when I CC them and they add zero attack bar. But how fast is that Wusa? Oh my god, my Hey Gang with speed lead is at... Very, very fast speed. Okay, we're going with this first. I'm going to go straight for the monkey. I think that's going to be the one that really messed me up here. We're going to go for the strip. We land absolutely nothing. We land something on the monkey though. That's very important. Strip here. We're going to defense break the monkey. We got the defense break, but we pushed the attack bar up. He might stun me here though, which is bad news. Did we lose? Wait, we lost. Oh, we got a silence. Okay, that's not too bad. Because we got the silence right there. Oh, that attack break is huge, though. That is bad. All right, we don't want to touch him because he's on Nemesis. So I'm just going to attack somebody else at the moment. I'm going to try to maybe stun this guy. You're going to spread the love from the monkey. Oh my god, this guy is also just going crazy on me. I'm going to go for the AoE debuff to force the cleanse. We did not get any cleanse. And he's going to absolutely destroy my team here. I have no idea what to do. Bro, that monkey stun and the and the attack break from the from the Hathor really just won the game for him. 
<laughs> There's nothing I can do. Oh my god, the defense wreck is gone now. Can I kill him though? Not bad. We got him. And then we're gonna try to go for the Hathor here. Maybe I stun this guy. Okay, no stun, which is fine. Can I glancing debuff? Despair stun somebody. Not too bad. I think we can risk it and go for this guy. Because we have high attack power. There's a shot. Oh my god, he's critting me too. Can I stun this? Oh no. This is bad news. I have to crit I maybe glance this to give myself attack bar. Okay. Here we go. No! I could not! Oh, we got a violent pro- We heal back a little bit. We're gonna finish off the Douglas. Okay. We glance, but we 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 got the damage. He's gonna do that. Oh no. Are we losing though? He can heal back. Oh no, he has to wake me up though. He has to wake me up. And Hathor lost the cooldown, so. Are you are you kidding me? <laughs> Am I gonna lose to a Wusa? This is BS. I don't This is not cool, man. No, come on. I feel like he didn't ban my Hey Gang earlier. I can ban this. And he will not ban Hey Gang this time. Okay, he didn't ban Hey Gang, that is good. So Hey Gang's gonna counter Chi Wu. And hopefully my boy is gonna stay alive. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go, baby. The Chi was gonna not work turn one that well because we have Hey Gang. He's gonna go for it anyway. Free attack bar for us. Wait, this is messed up. What do I do now? My attack, my attack bar is all messed up. All right, I'm gonna go for the damage over here. Not too bad. We're gonna strip, sh block the cleanse from the Josephine and silence. Nothing happened. And we get stunned. I love this game. <laughs> we got nothing working for us, and we got stunned instead. Okay, we got a stun right there on the. On the Hathor, that's very important. We got glancing debuff on the Douglas, that is also very important. And uh, he did not glance a single time, which is normal, I guess. Oh my god, that damage is crazy though. Oh, I guess that's goodbye, Layla. <laughs> Dude, I swear, I think he's not bad in my team. It just. <laughs> it just. I just need a little bit better luck, dude. Just a little bit better luck and I think we could have won. For real. Because the damage when you can do... When, when, when enemy has defense break is really, really good. What if he violent proc right now and just one-shot somebody? No violent procs. <laughs> He's gonna attack break me. I wanna do zero damage. Or stun me, for that matter. <laughs> I need to self-cleanse, bro. I need a self-cleanse mechanic. Because without that, we're just fodder unit. There's no shot, right? There, there's just no shot. We're gonna win. I can't believe this. No, he didn't push back my Sukuna. I tried, guys. I tried. I really tried, okay? If they can give him some sort of attack bar gain with this skill, it can be similar to Han, but not as good because you don't have the stun or the speed leader. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.